Hey all, Choi Boy here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what you shouldn't be doing while investing in the stock market. This is the five things I've chose that you shouldn't be doing in the stock market. Let's get straight into it. So number one is having short term goals. A lot of people want their money doubling, tripling, quadrupling in the short amount of time. Sure, why not? Everyone wants quick, quick money, but that doesn't really work out so well in the stock market. It's mainly because it's not easy to predict where the company is going to go in the next one or two years. For example, if it's a smaller company, then it might be more volatile than a bigger company. Therefore, you don't really know where it's going to go either downwards or upwards in the next one or two years. And this is exactly why you shouldn't be keeping it so tight on your timelines. You should be looking at the next 5, 10, 20 years and probably beyond that as well. So you got to keep it long term for a lot of these companies. Some companies will give you short term gains like doubling, tripling in the next one or two years, especially for smaller companies. And it's totally viable. It's just that your expectations shouldn't be up there, but it may happen. So if it happens, sure, that's a lucky take for you, but don't bank your money on the short term in general. So always keep it long term and be responsible with your money so you can make a nice fortune out of your money in the long term. Second thing you shouldn't be doing is looking at charts and prices of stock every day. This is one of the many things that people do that kind of gets into their head. There's nothing really wrong with looking at prices all day or every day or so. But the problem is when you start making irrational decisions because it gets to your head. Now, when you look at prices all day and if you look at the charts all day, normally people get pretty emotional towards their investments. And that's exactly what you should not be doing when investing in the stock market or anything else really. You need to keep everything rational and based on facts and research that you have done. Nothing more than that. If your emotion starts kicking in like crazy and you start FOMOing into buying stocks or you start selling because you're panicking about the current situation, please stop there, have a think, keep away from the prices for a few days and come back and see what you think back later. It's always a good idea to um, look at the prices and not think about it too much in terms of what kind of decisions you're going to make. Rather, the current times, you know, crisis and all that kind of controversy is in the mixture right now and therefore people are looking at the prices a lot more than they used to in the past few years because it's been very volatile and it's quite speculative at the moment of where the prices will start going towards. If that's not the case, if it's not for educational purposes, if it's not for your own um, personal benefits and experience of you know looking at the markets and how it reacts to a time like this try not look into it too much if you have stocks already um, it is unfortunate times for a lot of people but looking at the prices all day will only make you more emotional and it doesn't really help you for the long run so please don't do that and keep away from the prices when you're getting a bit too emotional that's number two Third one is a bit similar to the one I talked about just now. It's worrying about the short term volatility. Short term volatility is very, very common amongst stocks. You know, there's a lot of things that are very, very volatile in the short term. Worrying about the short term volatility is not really good for you as an investor. You would always be looking for the long term trend. So don't worry too much about the roller coaster ride that's happening right now, but do. Um, keep in mind that your roller coaster ride will generally be going upwards in the longer trends, like 10 years or so. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna have that moment of volatility, but as long as the general trend is going upwards, then that's um, a win for you. So don't care too much about the ups and downs. Main thing here is that people make dumb mistakes at a time of volatility. Now, it is a hard time for a lot of people. Don't People don't like seeing their portfolio go down in uh, price over the next 
few months or so but it's that's what it is that's why you're in the stock market it's very interesting times and you know you just got to hold it out because eventually it will come back up we just don't know when so don't care too much about the price and the short-term volatility in the next year or so because it doesn't look so good and it might get even more ugly so please beware of that and that's the third one number four is don't get your information from a single source this is so so common that people buy stocks based on a single site or a youtuber shilling the heck out of a stock or something like that you know taking information from a single source is just as bad as making a gamble in the stock market that's how it is and the more research you do and stuff like that it is more benefits to you that way and you must always cross validate all your information from other sources now if the general fact that you heard from a site is right or correct then it should be the same elsewhere in other sites obviously and people would be talking about it in generally in the same way assuming it's a factual thing here so in that kind of aspect you would want to always check that your information is correct and you do that by firstly um, if you do want to check the number one single source of a stock is the company itself. You look at the balance sheets and you look at the investors reports and stuff like that and you read it straight off the actual company. That would be the best single source information. But any third parties talking about a company stock, you will always need to cross validate that information because you just don't know if sometimes they mix a bit of their opinions into it and make it sound like a fact believing everything a youtuber says just because they're very famous got a lot of subscribers does not mean they have a crystal ball to predict everything about a company or just know everything that um they can be the next warren buffett it's just not really like that it's not that easy and that's exactly why you can get easily burnt from believing a single person or a single site the fifth and final thing you shouldn't be doing in the stock market is taking people's predictions price predictions or something like that seriously there are a lot of price predictions made by investors on YouTube or blogs or forums and believing them is not really recommended for most cases because not even the company themselves know what the share price is going to be and even their main stakeholders and how would an investor know any better they would not and no one has a crystal ball here in this world if they did then they would be richer than warren buffett obviously but please take every prediction with a grain of salt not everything will be right and for most cases it will be very very wrong you see so many youtubers makes price predictions it's a controversial thing it's fine making price predictions as long as people know that that's just for entertainment maybe you know be like oh tesla stock's gonna hit 1k like is that actually gonna happen sure why not but when is it going to happen and how long it's going to take we just don't know and if they give you a price prediction by a certain date you should not even believe it don't even don't even you know you know take it as entertainment don't take it seriously and start buying a whole bunch of tesla shares because they said it's going to take um it's going to hit 1k in the next one year or so but remember this price predictions may come true it may come true for some people and sure they'll be called the next warren buffett uh, probably in like in some kind of news be like oh i predicted the tesla price to be this price at a certain date or something like that and they got it right you know that's like a one in a million chance they got it actually that correct you know so it's not a common thing for people to predict accurately it's not a recommended thing for most people to believe it as well so please take everything with a grain of salt if you like today's videos um, please give me a like put a comment down below what you thought and any topics you want me to cover please let me know and I'll cover it if I can subscribe to the channel and put the bell icon on for the next updates until next time I'll see you around